Hi everyone. So I'm adding a new set of nails now. Um, on this nail here, you can see that I've actually used a tip, and I don't usually use tips, not because I prefer any sort of method. It's simply because I was trained in sculptured nails. On the back of my nail, this nail here, the hypernicheum has started growing up with my nail um, and it's quite painful. I've been doing some research about it and some people say it's because there's been um, a gap left when you're sculpting nails. Um, some people say it's from wearing your nails too long. I don't actually know what has caused this or how to um, you know, make it better because you, you can't cut it, it's really sore. So if anyone out there does know, um, you know, what I can do to try and help that separate from the actual nail growth, then that would be fab. Anyway, I've used the tip, so it's not painful putting the form underneath. As always, I'm just working that bead up the nail, you know, building my strength, making sure it's flat, smooth, even. I'm actually using... Um, Nao Nails Maximum Edition Liquid. Um, I heard uh, a girl on YouTube, her name is uh, Sophie's Bespoke Nails, and she has started using Nao's Monomer and Polymer. So I thought, well, it is a cheap alternative, so I'll give it a go. Um, I'm just pinching the nail here. To give it that uh, C curve and the strength and the nice slender look. Anyway, this liquid and powder now that I've started using, um, a lot of people were saying that they were worried it would dry too fast. Here I'm using Nail Nails Clear um, Powder and their Maximum Edition Liquid. And for me, I do find that it is not a fast setting acrylic it's just nice when you put the bead on it doesn't run it's not runny it is moldable i'm actually really enjoying using it at the minute um it seems that there is less filing time it seems like the acrylic itself is not very um you know it, it doesn't take much to file which i quite enjoy because i hate filing i really do so Anyway, back to the set of nails. Um, I'm building this one up in clear because I'm going to add some nail foil onto that. The nail foil that I am going to use, I really liked it because in this set I wanted to go for like an autumn look. And this foil, you know you get your standard silver and you get your gold. This one has got like red, um, bronze, um different tones to it which is I really like that so you know like copper as well you can see in there and because you know autumn and the colour of the other nails I was going for I thought this really worked well for that so I'm just patting out that foil the nails already have been prepped and they have been primed. The liquid, the maximum edition liquid says that it, um, you don't need to use primer. However, I still used two coats of Nao Nails um, non-acid. You can see there I put a gold stud on. I didn't like it, so I took it back off. And then I made sure I was happy with all the foil I had. And then I'm just going to encapsulate that nail with... The clear powder it really does have um, a nice substance to it it's it's a nice texture to work with I, I am enjoying it for the time being and it is really 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 cost effective so I would definitely recommend giving them a go after I've done that nail and the nail is not tacky but it's not completely dry, I will then go and pinch that nail as well. So I'm just showing you here. Oh no, I'm not. I'm actually just doing my <laughs> pointer finger, sorry. 
and I kept it in the nude. This is um, again Neo Nails. Um, it is a cover. It is a cover beige, warm beige with shimmer, and then I'm adding the foil going up in like a horizontal line to give like a fading effect going up the nail, feathering it out almost. And then when I'm happy with that, when I'm happy with where that foil is, I'm just going to place a little bit of acrylic and then I'm going to grab this tiny little Chanel um, gold symbol and I'm going to place that on the end of the nail. Obviously the right way up. I'm just showing you the nail here that hasn't been filed, it hasn't been buffed, that is just purely application. And then I'm showing you here the difference when it has been filed and buffed, there isn't really much difference. As I said, I'm, I'm, I am enjoying this new system. Okay, so I'm going in with Blue Sky gel polish now and it's like a really deep auburn colour like a burgundy I love this colour and it definitely fitted in with my autumn theme so I'm just applying my first coat making sure that I'm applying it thin you don't want your layers thick you'll find them under curing you will get peeling um, I'm also not going to cap the tip each time um, I saw on another girl's channel I think it was Bee's Nail nail World. Um, she didn't cap the tip until the end. And when she said that, I thought, well, yeah, because when you are capping that tip every layer, you do tend to lose that square shape or whatever shape you're going for. It, com it comes out quite bulky. So I didn't cap. And I just kept going with thin layers each coat. And this is the third layer now. And if you find you're getting a little too much polish, just wipe off that excess off your brush and then feather the rest of it out so it's all nice and even. And then I cap the tip this time because this is my last coat. And you can see how shiny that polish is. It's really, really nice. Lovely colour. So Madame Glam is the top coat I'm using for this set. Again, I, I love this top coat. It is long lasting. The shine is gorgeous. And then you still want a nice thin coat of that. You don't want to go thick because your gel polish will peel and chip if it's too thick. Okay, so this is the finished set showing you now. I hope you've enjoyed and there are pictures to follow. Thank you for watching. Bye.